another movie that came out in theaters that I couldn't catch, but because of the things that are happening, I I finally decided to go watch it. Now that is is now for rent. Man, this is gonna be a running gag until this thing. I'm getting a little bit sick of it. But anyway, <clears throat> the movie that I just saw is none other than Bloodshot. The movie that stars Vin Diesel um, and it's based on a comic book uh, from the variant comic book industries in our franchise. I don't exactly know because to, truth to be told I am I'm in the dark when it's about variant comics. I don't know I don't know anything about it. I just recently know about it even though I'm the guy who likes comics and, and cartoons and everything. But you know what? Sometimes there are, uh, there are moments in which uh, things can slip out of their radar. But anyway, uh, before I start out talking about Bloodshot, I have to tell you a little bit about, well, action movies, I'll say. Action movies are technically a, a little bit of a gamble sometimes. Um, in ways, when you make an action movie, you pick up an action star and that guy, you, you want to see him like the, uh, kind of like the, the role model of the, well, in lack of better terms, the, 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 the good, the good visualization of what a man is. You know, strong, buff, uh, he sometimes gets the chicks, sometimes, um, that's basically the, the macho wet dream of action, uh, when it's about action movies. And usually this is a formula that has been done with a lot of ac uh, uh, action movie stars uh, like Arnold Schwarzenegger, Dwayne Johnson, and in the case of Bloodshot, of course, Vin Diesel. And truth to be told, I like Vin Diesel. Um, I mean, he's the guy who voiced the, uh, not only Groot, but also he voiced the Iron Giant, which is also one of my favorite movies. Uh, uh, but. Uh, but, and, and as an actor, I'll say that, well, like, he's entertaining sometimes. He might ha he's just, he's just an action, action movie star in which he has his ups and downs. And I will leave it like that because uh, talking about Vin Diesel is going to take a long, a long, long time. But because, but, so, but anyway, I'm just here just to talk about Bloodshot. So... First of all, you want to know, okay, you saw the movie, uh, what, is it, uh, what is it about, do you like it, and everything. Okay, where do I start? The first thing I want to tell you guys is that the trailer kind of ruins the movie. It's one of those trailers that it basically ruins the mystery and anything. It kind of, it doesn't exactly tell you the whole the whole movie, but it gives you the, the kind of like the whole, the whole mystery and the, the, the kind of like the most intriguing parts that that the movie gives you. This is something that I have, uh, I have kind of like a, like a problem with with trailers. I think they should make a, they should make a kind of like a thin line on trailers in which, in my opinion, they should be 30, 30 seconds or forty five seconds long and don't show too much. That's probably the, the ideal thing. And honestly, I'm getting sick a lot of, of uh, you know, very, very unoriginal trailers. They're kind of having the same vibe. Why don't we return to, you know, like the 80s style or the, or the, or the 70s style of trailers in which the, at least these trailers can, sometimes comes up of being creative sometimes. And and well, there. Uh, so basically, yeah, it kind of ruined me the whole, uh, the whole movie. The more reason why I I didn't watch the, watch it on the movie theaters when the time came out. Uh, and as for the movie itself, mm, let it put it this way: it's not exactly a good movie, but if you can shut your mind off. Is you're gonna get one of those cheesy stereotypes of action movies that 
you're gonna enjoy it, have some a good waste of time. By the end of the line, if, if you overanalyze this this movie, you're gonna say, "Man, I feel dumb." Okay, so what Bloodshot's about? Well, the Bloodshot is, is, again stars Vin Diesel, and it starts off with him. Uh, he 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 works in the military. He rescues hostages. He has a beautiful wife until until terrorist captures him and his wife and then the, the 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 leader of that kidnapping group he just comes by in this ridiculous dance he's like hey i'm in, in the cheesy 80s action film it's kind of like this to this guy who wants to act goofy but at the same time uh, wants to bring out some horror but man it's so cheesy so basically this guy kills his wife and and he, and he then kills Vin Diesel. But then, kind of out of nowhere, Vin Diesel somehow wakes up uh, on, a, on, a, on, a, on this building in a laboratory where, where the head is, where the leader of the, of the corporation, who is, who is play, played by, uh, by Guy Pierce, uh, he just picks up his corpse, he enhances him with nanonites that, uh, that heals his body. Yeah, and and well, technically he he just there, you know, to guide him to give him a second chance in life. But of course, uh, Vin Diesel kind of lost his memory, uh, uh, and then later he remembers the uh, you know the tragedy that happened, and it turns into a revenge movie. And guess what? That part of the revenge part. It's only the quarter of the movie because later, if they wanted to, if you've seen the trailer, you know where it's going. In which, in which basically, it's it's all it's all kind of like an act in which all the all these memories were fabricated that that is repeating over and over again. So, but with a with a different target. Uh, so he could personalize. Uh, a, a, a revenge plot, but in, but in actuality, it's an assassination plot. And, and of course, and of course, the nanobite is on him, so he because because he he turned into a super weapon. That's basically it. Um, um, if you want to know some storytelling things, and and guess what? It's been done and over a lot of times. And you know what? For the sake of cheesiness on on the um, action films, it keeps you intrigued and, and and entertained if you again shut down your mind. But there are times that you gotta have to deal with lots of exposition, a uh, lot of being diesel. Uh, I'm not gonna say that he overacts. But sometimes the line delivery that he does is, is I want it's kind of like in the sense of what would you do if you put Sylvester Stallone in a in a, technically a bad movie and make him say uh, kind of like lame lines or really underwhelming lines because most of the time some of the times he he you're gonna hear Vin Diesel say I'm gonna find find you and I'm gonna kill you. Oh uh, yeah, and there's a tra the trademark also that you're gonna that when there's Vin Diesel, you're gonna see him wearing a tank top. Yep, that's how much action he filmed me this movie is. Uh, and yeah, there are the other characters. There is this. Uh, uh, I'm not gonna bother dissecting with the actor. There, there is this woman who she basically kind of takes pity on him but on, on on what the company is doing. Uh, she ha she also has some kind of res respirator on her because basically her the company is picking people that uh, that uh, that had this some kind of disability or in the case of Vin Diesel it got quote unquote kill and 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 and, and you know it, it, and resurrect them back to to return to their normal life. Uh, there's this guy who. There's this guy who has a uh, robot, robot legs. Another guy with robot, robot eyes. And Guy Pierce himself, is, he he has kind of uh, a robotic, uh, a robotic arm. Uh, oh yeah, and one of the things that you're gonna notice in the posters and everything is that, is that, 
is that Vin, uh, the the main core of Vin of uh, Vin Diesel is that whenever he he's in, in, he's doing a lot of action, he basically overheats and his and his chest he begins to glow red, and basically I. I, I I don't know if many people notice, but when you see him, like you know, the technology that he has on his chest and the way it glows red. Does anyone have Iron Man vibes? Yeah, because Tony Stark had that had that thing installed on his chest uh, for for up, up until from the first Iron Man to Iron Man three. Why nobody noticed that? Or actually, why why people notice it but don't mention it? Okay, let's continue on. What else I can talk about this movie? Special effects. Well, the special effects are not exactly as groundbreaking. There, uh, there's some parts in which it looks admirable. Some parts that it looks well, like very, very, very cheesy 2000 style uh, seat. CGI, man, I'm saying cheesy a lot of times. Maybe that word is stuck in my head, but yeah, it is. It it is it, so it's okay. Again, it kind of teaches you that uh, that there are times in which the CGI doesn't blend very very well that to to real life. Unless uh, 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 there are some shots that I can forgive, like um, I because I can admit that. Making special effects like that for CGI is not easy, so I can't imagine you know making making uh, 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 scenes in which it involves a lot of particles like nanobite particles like blowing up from his face kind of and so basically now that I think about it, uh, basically Vin Diesel is 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 kind of like the perfect ma marriage of the of of the T one. Uh, of the T1000 and uh, the T1000 and the T100. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, it's, it's Vin Diesel as a Terminator now that I think about it. Holy, holy frick, and he is a Terminator. <laughs> Why didn't I think of that before? Okay, continuing on with the special effects. Yeah, sometimes they look good, sometimes they look cheap, they look mm, so so. Uh, I'm I'm just kind of forgiving into that. Um, the pacing of the of the story is uh, it's very basic. I'll say it. It it follows up. It follows the typical formula of the at first a revenge plot from an action movie, but then they want to add out a kind of like a twist, and they just want to try to explain a lot about the things that are going on, but. Uh, but unfortunately, uh, this kind of sacrifices some uh, some degree of interest to the character. Because first of all, uh, the movie comes off as being very big on on the on the on the Vin Diesel character uh, in a way that that we barely know about this guy. They wanted to make to wanted to establish that. It is a mystery in which part of it, yeah, it is revealed later in the movie, but it still doesn't feel enough. It feels kind of like vague. It doesn't doesn't exactly show. It. We don't exactly know. Uh, I mean, where it come, where he come from, and what happened to him, to him in, in, for real. It, and this is one of those in which it could have helped with more like a visual exposition more than just just tell uh, just tell and and the main bad guy which of course I, I, I'm i gonna spoil it which is none other than, uh, than Guy Pierce. his motivations also feels a little bit confusing in a way yeah he starts out you know like the doctor who who revi who revi who revives a person out of out of kindness but also to revolutionize his technology but then he he kind of jumps out on being technically this this cartoonish bad guy who he he's kind of playing out like a messiah complex in which saying that that I rescue you I'm making you a better version of you now I but I own you so you gotta do what I say or something like that that's basically 
uh, that's basically what happens, but but it comes out out of nowhere. I mean, the the little the little that we know about the guy Pierce character is that he uh, that he was a he was a tennis player and uh, an accident an accident you know made him lose his arm, but he, he said that. I'm gonna keep on living, and I'm gonna make myself better. And he made this 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 robot arm. So technically, what is his motivation? And what is his motivation of creating a super soldier in the case of Vin Diesel, and why he feel like he wants to control him? It doesn't even never explain why he he wants him to kill off these couple of people. So. Uh, so, in a way, that makes it very vague. And, of course, little else I will say about, you know, the, the other super soldiers, which basically they are kind of like the equivalent of the, uh, of, you know, the, the, the bad guys that they have no, they, they just they say, hey, I do what I do, I just hate this guy, so whatever. So yeah, in, in usually these kind of action films, you're gonna roll your eyes out uh, because hey, because they think that just because it's an action movie, uh, you don't need uh, you don't need uh, you know lots of explanation, and a lot of character. The only thing that you're gonna do is, is show up how Vin Diesel is so cool and how and how action kicks ass and give him some uh, some uh, some one liner like. Uh, like, for example, thanks for the advice. <sighs> yeah, that's the thing. So, it, yeah, it's, it, 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 so that's, that's pretty much I have to say about this movie. Um, and, and guess what? I saw a little bit of oh, during my research is that this movie is actually is, was a plan to make a variant comics cinematic universe. There are so many universes and so many universes are being shared. <laughs> oh my god. Guys, at least I'll give it credit to that. I'll give this movie credit on one thing. At least they don't want it to jump the bandwagon like uh, like like Batman versus Superman or 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 the worst case scenario the the Tom Cruise mummy movie because at least the movie is self at least the movie is self-contained it doesn't reference any any other variant comics that from whatever I don't remember what uh, what other what other comics create at least I'll give it that I'll give that I'll give that benefit of the doubt uh, but man, chill. Let's build. Let's build the other universes before we we cross over them. I mean, I mean, you saw some examples of when cinematic universes are being pushed. Whew. So there. I'm. I have nothing else to say about blush. Uh, blush yet. So uh, just. If you don't want to watch a, a kind of like a generic action film, it, and some waste of time, uh, I think this is a good rental, I'll say. Just for rental, it, it's fine. Not, not something that you have to be, you know, to, to go around and watch. It's, it just, it's just an action movie that is kind of like the equivalent of, 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 you know, all these action car, uh, 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 you haven't seen you have seen cartoons in which the cartoon characters they watch on TV an action hero and they watch kind of like an action movie kind uh, kind of like the Simpsons Wolfgang. Uh, this is the, the that's how I best describe Bloodshot. Uh, so so there you go. Uh, so uh, uh, so if, if you if you feel like that you were ripped off by watching this movie, well. You should have taken my advice.